Evidence shows eating things like bacon, sausages, hot dogs, sliced meat, even if it's organic, smoked or cured, can cause colon cancer. You may be surprised to hear what could be on that chicken and that it is perfectly legal. You think it's safe, right? But did you know that chicken processors are allowed to sell chicken that they know could be potentially contaminated with deadly bacteria? My name is Catrice Tyler. I am a vegetarian. I have been a vegetarian for four years, almost going on five now, and I am truly glad. Hi, I'm Ruby. I've been vegetarian for probably like 15 years or something. Yeah, pretty long time since I was really young. Um, my mom was kind of vegetarian, and when I was really little, she told me, uh, what meat was and she was like you can eat it or not and I was like no thank you and yeah I've been vegetarian ever since. My name is Annie. I've been a vegetarian for two months. My name is Audrey Henderson. I've been a vegetarian for about two and a half years now. It was like very easy for me um, because I knew like before when I was um, a person that eat meat, I knew that I wanted to change and to become a vegetarian. I don't really remember a time in my life where I was eating meat, like, consistently. I think I probably had it a little bit as, like, a baby, but it was before I could really remember it. So I've been vegetarian, like, as long as I can really remember. It was easy because I just slowly stopped eating meat. I didn't go cold turkey. And, um... It didn't really have any effect on me physically except me being a little bit more tired for a while. I did it really overnight. Um, I came home from church one day and I just told my mom I want to be vegetarian and then it was kind of really easy because it was during quarantine and I just ate a bunch of rice. Um, and honestly it really helped my stomach because I wasn't eating all those preservatives and fried things. Um, to be healthier as a person and it is truly like the healthiest choice that everyone can make. Um, your insides feel completely, completely, completely like, like clean, like healthy and strong and energized. Because meat is expensive and I thought it would help and also I was sick all the time because my medicine made it hard for me to eat meat so I decided just to go vegetarian. I saw a video of um, chicken nuggets being made and it really grossed me out and I'm a big environmentalist so just kind of thought about that and I always really wanted to be a vegetarian after that. I really um, like um, silk a lot. I really, um, I love um, that um, plant-based brand. Um, I have it every day. I really like Morningstar. Morningstar is pretty good. I've had a lot of their products and they have a really wide variety of products. So they have like pretty much anything that has a meat version. There's probably a Morningstar version that's pretty good. Um, but a lot of it is pretty similar. It's all some sort of like soy substitute, so it all kind of tastes the same after a while. But Morningstar is definitely a favorite. I like Morningstar Farms. I really like Gardein and uh, Morningstar. I know like sometimes I go to the cafeteria um, like during lunchtime and they will provide me with um, a plant-based um, protein shake, um, muscle milk, which has like um, 25 grams of protein and stuff. And um, they mix me like a good amount of vegetables and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, there's definitely, they have like a set, you know, vegetarian substitutes for pretty much every meal. And 
I think I do appreciate that because I know that there is a very small amount of vegetarians at the school and I think it is good that they make that effort to include and make sure that you know those that small percentage of people do have something to eat to replace like the meat uh, so yeah I'd say they're pretty good about it yeah it's nice uh, it's unlike other schools they actually give you vegetarian replacements or meat replacements I know that there has been a lot of issues with like the dairy industry as a whole and their uh, milking cows. I know there's some issues there. I know Fairlife abuses their animals and uh, there's controversies with the Tyson chicken farms for abusing their workers. Uh, Fairlife and Tyson. Filth, overcrowding, disease, suffering. Hidden camera video by Mercy for Animals shows Tyson workers dropping and throwing crates full of baby birds onto the ground. No one would buy the Fair Oaks Farm and Fair Life products if they knew the amount of animal abuse that occurred on their property. They were beaten, whipped, punched, kicked. They were slapped. Metal rods were thrusted into their sides. Cows were falling from exhaustion. These, these companies would be closed. The buyer is supporting this industry. And that was me, and that's you. And just like I did, you can make the change. Go for a week becoming vegetarian and see how it feels. And I'm telling you, it's the greatest decision ever made.